Hey, it's Michael Saul with the Stock Market Trading Watch List for Tuesday, December 13, 2011. Take a look at the market here. So coming into Monday, I was watching to see if we could get some continuation off of Friday's inside candle. And uh, once again, this candle does not really represent what happened in the S&P. Because again, we had a gap. We gapped down and there was no fade and we continued lower. Now we did get a little saving grace with a nice bounce into the close. Okay, once again, doesn't look as great on here. Uh, we were down, I think, as much as two and a quarter or two and three tenths percent, something around that. Maybe a little, maybe a little lighter than that, but whatever it was, it was a nice bounce, and when we look at the other indexes, you'll see that as well. Volume pulled in on both sides, the NASDAQ and the NYSE, so that was a good sign. We held short-term support, and uh, breath was pretty nasty, but it wasn't uh, so overwhelming, and it didn't continue to stay as uh, as brisk as it was. You could see here, we got a bounce, and we got another little divergence here on the advanced decline line. So once again, I'm looking for a bounce on the short term. Now the way we've been doing it is uh, we've been gapping and going and then gapping and going and then gapping and going right three in a row. So maybe Tuesday will provide us with a gap down, maybe even a retest of these lows that holds. And I'll go over more of that, uh, more on that in the S&P video, which I'm going to do tonight. I didn't do it for Monday, but uh, I will do it for Tuesday. So the NASDAQ 100, all right, nice hammer here. And you can see we dipped down below the moving averages, but we came back to close back above most of them, not all of them. All right, we're still, you know, I'll blow it up here. You see we're still below, appears to be the 50 and um, the 10 day, but that's easily taken out if we uh, continue to bounce. So uh, that's a pretty good sign here. Now we're short term oversold on this little dipsy do here. That's another reason why I'm looking for a bounce here. And like I said, the same thing for the NASDAQ 100 as for the S&P. Now, if we gap up, like I said, check out the S&P video because it may be a, a different story. But uh, right now, we look like, uh, still look like we want to get a bounce here. All right. So Russell, okay, also held support. Got a nice little bounce into the close. Still closed down 1.6%. Semiconductors. Okay, they dipped down a little deeper. But got a bounce into the close. Banks. All right, look more like the S&P. Where we took out Thursday's lows by a bit, but then got the bounce. Okay, the broker-dealer. Similar. Cyclicals, okay, test of the 50 day there. Our gold, nasty day, gap down. All right, watching the 200 day moving average on GLD to see if that holds. SLV, now I was definitely more bearish on SLV silver than I was on gold, okay, and you can see here the 3% loss, but it actually closed above the open so wasn't as bad looks like it, it held this support point still looking to see if this will get further downside here but right now gold and silver are just shopping around okay here's uh, USO I said I wasn't going to use OIL anymore so here's uh, USO another test of the 200 and a hold so far so if this holds here watch for a bounce in oil okay uh, let's look at some of the usual suspects. Apple with a doji. Not a bad day. Only lost uh, half a percent. Okay, actually a little bit less than that since uh, that was that was including after hours. So still watching Apple. If we can get a bounce, I want to watch this one as one of the leaders. Is Amazon? Yeah, this one definitely not watching as a leader. Doesn't mean it won't bounce if the market bounces, but. It's not looking so sharp. Here's Google with an inside day. All right, watch this one. Another one that could lead. Here's Intel. Okay, now Intel has been one of the bellwethers of the move. And uh, you can see here it got cracked a little bit based on some comments it made. But I like the way that it held the 50-day moving average. All right, they say Intel warned. All right, 
uh, I like the hammer at the 50 day. So if this can recover, all right, this could, could go back to leading and could bring us up. We'll see. Here's IBM. All right, another one. Not doing much. Uh, Cena, somebody wanted me to take a look at. Yeah, I'd watch for a test of these lows here and see what happens from there. Just had a nice triangle break. It's continuing to work its way lower. Las Vegas Sands, back below the 200 day moving average, still in a bigger picture sideways consolidation, and even in a smaller channel here. I'm going to get rid of this channel now because it's kind of worthless. But uh, the two bigger ones, nothing wrong with keeping them on. All right. Okay. Uh, what else? Ford. Yeah, not much going on there. More wound up here. I don't really count this tail, but even if you take it off or just put a little one on, you can see here it's more just consolidating. All right. Not a bull flag because we're in a range overall. So. Again, I'm leaning towards a bounce here. I'm not a permable by any means. Just think that we're short-term oversold. And there are some conditions that are lining up. I talk about them in my morning email. So if you want to get on the list, sign up right here and uh, get my daily email. Where I talk a little bit more of what I'm seeing. And uh, that's really it. We'll see what the market does. Um, if that we don't get a bounce and instead we go down, I'm watching the 50-day but I'm watching this trend line for potential support levels. And of course, with the news flow, it's coming out of Europe. <laughs> the saber rattling over there, just amazing. One day, everything's all beautiful, and the next day, it's just gloom and doom again. So, got to watch that. And in my opinion, you have to uh, aggressively manage all positions, whether they're intraday or beyond. That's it. Have a great trading day on Tuesday. I'll talk to everybody again on Wednesday.